I'm back here in the cooler and I'm going to go ahead and grab some bread for, for baking off today. This is a new form factor for us. We were using the speed racks, but we got these metro racks in recently that allow us to put far more loaves in the same footprint. It's slightly larger, but maybe one and a half times the size of a speed rack. This is the size of a speed rack. Here we can fit 14 loaves times a lot more levels. Uh, you can get maybe 10 levels of six on a speed rack, uh, so 60 loaves, whereas you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 times 14. Uh, we're pretty thankful for this because it saves us space. And basically I'm gonna bake through all this bread this morning. After seven or eight weeks of being in this space, you can see basically every week something changing, something adapting, we're trying things, some of which are good, some of which you know, don't work out, uh, or parts of bigger uh, projects. The key is we're still trying to kind of figure our way out through this space and optimize all of our workflows uh, for our own favor. So this week we've got these new Metro bread racks, which can fit a lot more bannetons. And we're kind of still trying to figure out the best workflow with them around the oven. All these loaves are going to get sliced today, so I'm not going to worry about the ornamental scoring on them. I'm just basically going to score and get them into the oven. Most importantly, I just want to make sure to stay on a pretty good rhythm with things. I don't have to load the oven exceptionally fast as I move through these decks. In fact, it almost makes sense for me to take my time while I'm loading so that the oven loads themselves are spaced apart a little bit. Helps uh, so that when we're unloading, everything's not competing. All right, time to inject the steam. Set a 15 minute timer and now I'm gonna go to the next side of that same oven. Basically just working my way down my shelf. I actually still have to go up to the top rows. For whatever reason, I left those behind. When I'm working with a large bake like this, uh, I like to try to find a rhythm. And it can be a little bit hard in my position to find rhythms because uh, oftentimes people have to ask me questions uh, about their own work processes that are not happening here. So uh, I like to try to find everything that somebody might need from me before I end up assuming my spot here by the oven so that once I get going, it's easier just to stay focused and engaged on what I'm doing. So there's a lot going on here at the oven. Uh, and as the oven loads up, really there's not any free moments. So I like to make sure everybody's questions are answered, make sure everybody's in a good spot before I really get going over here. If you get interrupted even a couple times through your flow, it can really be disruptive uh, since all these sort of segments of bread only end up being a few minutes apart. Uh, if you lose just a few minutes to some other interrupted task, all of a sudden you can be chasing the whole oven. Um, so there's just certain things where as a business owner, I, if I'm doing something, then I can't really be doing something else. Uh, and, you know, eventually I probably will uh, delegate this to someone. But I also want to be able to bake whenever I need to. Uh, so I want to have a good understanding of these new ovens and how they work and, and all that. Baking in particular is just one of the ones that I've typically delegated uh, because of the fact that I have to be in a lot of places 
sort of all at once and the oven is not really the most friendly environment for such a multitasking uh, flow. It's a little bit easier to do that uh, from other places. So I'm just moving straight into my next deck. Uh, I might do an ornamental scoring on this first round uh, to just, oh, and I also have a few practice loaves for tomorrow. So these are stenciled with I Heart Mesa for I Love Mesa Day. Uh, basically just was trying to practice these ahead of time because we'll be making these uh, tomorrow in, in more significant quantities. I forgot to rice flour these when I set them down so they're not really sliding off this board like they normally would. And I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm not as good as Amanda or Emerald at the stenciling, so it will be very helpful for me to practice uh, a few dozen of them so that by the time people come in here tomorrow expecting them, I might actually be able to execute them fairly consistently. I do really like working this oven with a partner, uh, but it's not always possible or practical to have one, so you have to be sort of flexible and handle it either way, whether, whether I'm lucky enough to have a partner on a given day or not. Uh, today, today, Emerald, who usually is my partner, is out. We've had a discussion already about kind of working this oven solo and in most bakeries, I think this oven would be set up to work solo. Although for, for our workflow, we found some nice, efficient workflows in a pair. Uh, and we're still kind of nailing down the process. Just making sure all the doors are unlocked so that as I load them up, the steam can be trapped and we don't end up propping a door open, letting all the steam out. At this point in the bake, you really want the steam in there. Uh, the purpose of steam in a bread bake uh, is, is a number of things. For one, helps with the initial oven spring of the loaves, but really like it has a lot to do with kind of the color and also texture of the loaf. If you've ever noticed a loaf of uh, sourdough has this kind of shine to it and almost a gradient color finish. Uh, the steam w had a large part to play in that. If you notice that the loaf of bread is more ashy in color uh, and doesn't have any kind of shine to it whatsoever, it was likely baked without steam. Still is gonna be likely very good bread. It, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that your bread's bad if you don't have a oven with steam injection but the bread definitely takes on a different level of appeal with it. So the very bottom deck, I've got English muffins, two decks of sourdough loaded. Let's see if I can get these other two decks loaded in a reasonable time. Currently, these decks are working about eight minutes apart, which should be a pretty good interval. <laughs> 